Poppy K and her weekly vlogs Shopping, reading and her cute dog Poppy K and her weekly vlogs Poppy K subscribe, like, comment and share So I have just finished a book and it is called The Last Tale of the Flower Bride by Roshani Chotsky. So basically this book is, we follow two characters and we are, when we read through the book, it's from past and the present. So each chapter moves back and forth from the past to the present. And one rule in the present is to never ask questions about the past. It's quite a different story. It's very abstract, I would say. It's quite a modern gothic fantasy set in a contemporary setting for both past and present. We are following two narrators and both build up the, I would say, the main character, Indigo, in each POV. You get to know more about Indigo throughout the book, but I don't think you get, you need to know more, you need to know more, you need to know more. The guy that she marries, his name is never told. You don't really know much about him either. He is referred to as the bridegroom. So you always go from either you go from Azure, which is Indigo's friend, to Indigo to the bridegroom. So it's th told through three different POVs. And the two, Azure and Indigo, are the past and the bridegroom is the future or the present. And basically he has promised Indigo that he will not in any way pry into her past. But obviously he cannot do that. And he begins to pry. And this is where we find out about Indigo and Azure and their fairy-like existence. The narration, the atmospheric setting, the plot twists, all of this kind of thing makes it very poetic and I think makes it very much like a modern gothic novel but that adds to the atmosphere and that adds to the story and it adds to the feeling for the reader to the characters so I would just say I gave this a four stars it was okay it wasn't it didn't blow away my mind like the last book that I read from uh, NetGalley I was kindly sent this by NetGalley and the publishers Hudder Staunton for reading and giving a review i enjoyed it as i say if you like something atmospheric and a little bit spooky a little bit creepy a little bit abstract as well then this one's for you so yeah i gave it a four stars i have made a little bit of a dent in the blade itself by joe abercrombie um i'm slowly getting through this we don't really need to have it done until i think the live is in march so I will link the video below. It's Becca and the Books. It's the Catch Up Book Club and there's a Discord and all sorts of things. So I'm nearly done. Well, I'm not nearly done, as you can see, but I'm slowly plowing my way through it. I'm quite enjoying it so far. I think my husband's really going to like this. Um, so I'm going to let him read that. But I'm going to get on with a few things around the house and 
ya asap Currently colouring in this, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> My husband always answers me whenever I'm talking on the camera. I this vlog will be going up next week. I am currently reading the Court of Mist and Fury. I'm going to go through and read all of the series, but next week's video will be the Court of Thorns and Roses and a Court of Mist and Fury. So I just thought, you know what, why not sit and uh, do a bit of colouring. So, and obviously I can't give you my thoughts on this because I will be giving you my thoughts next week. But um, just to say, that's all I'm going to say. It is a reread as well, but there you go. And the pencils that I'm using are the Spectrum Noirs colouring pencils. I've had them for ages. I need to sharpen some of them. But I just thought, I could sit and do a little bit of that. I'm doing stuff on the computer. I'm gonna go and make a cup of coffee in a minute. And that's it, really. That's that's all that's happening today. Yeah, I need to start Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell. So I need to start that as well. So I've got a few things on the back burner. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go and make a coffee now anyway. Bye! Well, I have been reading my uh, book for next week's vlog, but I'm just sitting here having a little rest and this is one of the best programs in the world. Legend. Legend.